What's up, everybody? John Charmijo here. I hope everybody's doing good and well and stuff. I got an album review to do for you, and I'm going to show it to you right now. This is the new album from the band Scordatura, entitled Self Created Abyss. This is released on Gorehouse Productions. Now, if you're not too familiar with this band, they are based out of Glasgow, Scotland. And the best way to describe the sound of this band would be a very fast, technical, torturous style of brutal death metal. Uh, yeah. This has been a band that has been putting their name out there very, very well and establishing themselves to create a very distinctive and dynamic sort of sound, releasing a multitude of demo releases throughout the early 2000s. And in 2013, we got the very first full length from this band entitled Torments of the Week. Very, very good stuff. Really amazing riffs, crazed vocals, just a certain sense of modern brutality being brought together for a band like Scordatura. And that left a lot more to be desired as to what this band would be doing next. And now here we are with the second full length from Scordatura entitled Self Created Abyss. It's 10 tracks and it clocks in at around 36 minutes in length. And pretty much this band has stepped things up drastically here. And it's definitely for the best of reasons. What they did on the first album, they bring all those elements in spades here, but everything just sounds and is played way, way better. Something that makes Scordatura stand out a lot to me is the guitar playing, and the guitar playing sounds incredibly tight-knit and immaculate. Very memorable riffs to be heard on every single song. Great technicality, great speed, great stamina. I just love this guitar playing. It just feels so heavy, so dirty, so devastating. Listening to the opening track, Repulsive Miscreation, I mean, it's just a lightning bolt right, right, right to your, to your skull, you know? That's how I feel when, when you first hear the riffs on songs like that, but then you get, to, you, get you go later on in the album with songs like Malignant Form of Inhumanity to Servants of Entrapment. Just some really, really awesome guitar playing going on throughout all these songs. Every, every riff is structured, well balanced, well executed. It just really works out well. Uh, the bass tone on here is incredible. Just like the guitar, it definitely has its own moments to shine. You definitely hear it very nice and clearly throughout this album's mixing and mastering job. Very well played, very well done. It has that almost small sense of technicality going on, just like the guitar playing. It really does sound wonderful to listen to, and it is definitely a nice, refreshing thing to hear some clear audible bass on a brutal death metal record. Um, Drum-wise, this drummer is a maniac. He really keeps a great pace going throughout the majority of this album. Great fills, great blast beats. The snare has that really loud sort of pop going for it. Not too loud, but well-centered enough to where it definitely makes enough of a difference in the drum performance. I think it really, really works out well here. Very well played, very clear, very precise. I just love this drummer's style. It makes every song on here flow and go along that much smoother. And uh, moving on to the vocals, I really love this vocalist style. I'm loving the diversity here from the guttural vocals to the shrieks to the highs. This guy has a very, very vibrant sort of personality when it comes to talking about the songs, doing the lyrics, just pretty much being a wild and crazy madman. It's just a really amazing vocal performance going on here. So uh, overall, very much this is the, the next step that Scordatura needed to take, and I think it works out very well here on Self Created Abyss. Uh, if you're into death metal, brutal death metal, or death metal with just a hint of technicality, uh, Scordatura is a band to be checking out, and I definitely continue to see brighter things in this band's future. So, if I had to pick any favorite tracks, I would definitely have to say Repulsive Miscreation, uh, Malignant Form of Humanity, uh, Servants of Entrapment, uh, Ritual Acts of Malevolence, and uh, the title track is pretty damn solid too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave you some links in the description boxes to how you can get a hold of this album and listen to it. I will leave you a link to the Gorehouse Productions Bandcamp page where you can stream this album in its entirety. Hear it for yourself and be your own judge as to whether you think it's worthy of being purchased or not. You can stream it by digitally and it is available as a uh, jewel case CD. Uh, very, very badass artwork being done here. Track listing. Uh, professionally done stuff here uh, and I'm pretty sure there's also merchandise options available if you want to order from directly from the Gorehouse site so 
Again, the album is Self Created Abyss by Gorehouse, by uh, Scordator, excuse me. This is released on Gorehouse Productions. Go check this out. And for a score, I'm going to give this a very strong 8.5 out of 10. Definitely exceeds my expectations, and uh, I see greater things for this band's future. So if you happen to have heard any anything from this album, definitely let me know what you think about it and how you feel about it, or any of you guys into Scordator, let me know. Uh, sorry about the stuff he knows. That's just what happens when stuff is, uh, is climbing around in the air. <laughs> uh, I'm going to conclude this review. Thanks a lot for watching. Thanks for checking out my channel. Until the next time, Army Hope out.